Hello, my name is David Langan, and this is the Use Less Screen Time social marketing campaign. Uh, the issue that my plan is addressing is over usage of screen time. There are a lot of people who spend all day looking at a screen. The issue that this is focusing on is unproductive screen time on devices like phones, TVs, and computers. Key organizations that could be involved in developing, developing and implementing this plan could be the YMCA. The YMCA is a nonprofit organization with the main goal of helping to improve the health and well being of the community it is in. There are many health issues that could come with overusage of screen time, including eye strain, insomnia, depression. Americans spend an average of 19 hours a day during COVID-19 lockdowns looking at a screen. Um, taking part in physical and social activities can be a healthier alternative to high screen time. The purpose of this campaign is to create healthier minds by conveying a clear message that heavy usage of screen time can be dangerous to one's health and taking time away from a screen can be beneficial. The focus of this campaign is to stop senseless scrolling on the internet that makes people satisfied with being bored. <clears throat> an, organizational, an organizational strength that will be focused on is the ability to convey the message through the channels of the internet. The internet is a great tool to spread brand awareness and should be taken advantage of. An organizational weakness that could be keeping the target audience focused. An organizational weakness an organizational weakness could be keeping the target audience focused and aligned with the goal. Screens make for great distractions, whether it's a video game, a TV show, or social media. An external opportunity is the ability to team up with local YMCAs to come up with a plan to provide people with an alternative to looking at screens. The YMCA is a great place for people to go and keep track of their health. Existing threats to the campaign are new and improved technology that come out every day. We are in an age of technology innovation and it's not slowing down for this campaign. A similar, cam similar campaign to mine is the Unplug America campaign, which started in the 90s with the intent to get people to not use electronics. Um, for, and the intent was like a whole day where people did not use electronics. Uh, narrowing down the priority audience to this age group is important because there are people who will be leading or future. Being adapted to this much screen time could lead to dangerous health factors that are explained earlier in the report. Other audiences to include are people over the age of 18 and are working with a computer or screen all day. It is important to take breaks from the screen and put your energy elsewhere. The behaviors we're specifically trying to change with this campaign is the usage of social media apps. Some users who tend to use Apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok will spend multiple hours a day scrolling through the feed of one site, then switch to the other. You can set a limit on your screen time on specific apps. This tool could be used to remind you when you're spending too much time on a screen. A mindset or belief to have when taking on the challenge of living your screen time is to remember that the life on social media is not real. Having real life experiences is much more valuable than having experiences and encounters over a screen. Barriers involved with changing this behavior would be how much people rely on the use of technology. People use technology to learn things, navigate places, work, and all sorts of things. A key benefit to this campaign for consumers is the opportunity to work on a healthy lifestyle. Real motivators to make people want to take part in this behavior is the ability to create better social skills and being a better communicator face-to-face. -face. Competing forces that will encourage the, this, the issue is how addictive social media and other functions and other screen functions can be. There are a lot of times where people find themselves bored with nothing to do and they decide to watch TV, play a video game, or just look through the feed. We want people to feel more disconnected from internet realities and feel more connected with real life experiences. Taking some time away from the screen can help some bad habits, help fix some bad habits and it can be good for one's overall health. Taking one hour a day and turning off the screens is a good way to start. Getting used to someone, getting used to doing something else and fixing it into a routine will break the need to always have a phone or a device. The core product of this campaign is the social and physical health benefits that are attained from decreasing screen time.
there is so much opportunity that comes from being an active and being active and engaging in real life and screens only hold us back. The places where you spend your free time, which would most likely be at home, this could also include downtime in a classroom or while you're at a social setting. The promotion could be accounts on social media that is dedicated to reminding people to get off their phones and limit screen time. The press would come from graphic designers who would clean up our web page and make it look more professional, and we would have cost of other advertisements. In conclusion, there is an issue of people using too much screen time, and that is what my plan is addressing.